Someone recently asked me, what is the number one problem in this world? And I said, thinking that one must not have any problems. If you look at a tree, if there is less sunlight, the branches grow in a direction where there might be more sunlight. If there is less water, the roots are able to exchange information in, across the vast root network and conserve water, perhaps grow less. There are conditions that a tree faces which are conducive for the tree's growth and also some which might constrain the tree's growth in the long run but still the tree manages with the shaktis the tree has been given. As we move through different situations in life, there are some conditions that promote our growth and some that constrain our growth. Like a loss of a job or loss of income, death of a person in the family and so on. The more one thinks of this as a problem, greater is the reaction it appears far greater than ourselves but the truth is if we look back on our own lives have been able to deal with all these different situations which may have seemed constraining and we can proudly confidently and truly say that i can deal with everything I have the support and I have my own intelligence that has been given to me. When we bring this thinking into the way we look at situations, in time, big issues become small issues. Small issues become no issues at all. We learn to flow. There are some situations you have to flow around. There are some situations where you slow down your pace. There are some situations where you move really fast. But all the way, you are the one that is present through all the problems, the one that is present across all the situations, the one that is pure consciousness, Chaitanyam, that Vedanta points to.